Well, it seems like we have some breaking news. We got the result from the uh, jury and uh, they found him guilty on all 34 counts, meaning Trump is going to make history as the first president to ever be convicted of a crime. The Washington Post reports, a New York jury has found Donald Trump guilty of 34 counts of falsifying business records to conceal a hush money payment to an adult film actress, delivering a historic verdict that could shape the November election and makes Trump the first former U.S. president convicted of a crime. They continue, Trump faces a maximum sentence of one and one third of a year to four years in prison. Given his age and his lack of a prior criminal record, he could serve a shorter sentence or no term of incarceration at all. While awaiting his sentence, Trump will continue to campaign to reclaim the White House after being deemed a felon in the city where he first rose to prominence. Trump, who has been charged in three other cases, is expected to appeal the New York verdict. Neither the conviction nor any sentence prevents him from serving as president. But the conviction is nevertheless an extraordinary loss for Trump, one that will reverberate through politics and the upcoming presidential election. It is also a major victory for the Manhattan prosecutors who brought a local case with immense national implications even after their federal counterparts declined to seek an indictment against Trump in the matter years earlier. So Trump could go to jail because of this. Will he? Probably not. Probably not, but we'll have to wait and see because sentencing comes next and Trump is going to continue to campaign. Now, I do have his immediate reaction and it's exactly what you would expect from Donald Trump. On Truth Social, he writes, my civil rights have been totally violated with this highly political, unconstitutional and election interfering witch hunt. Our failing nation is being laughed at all over the world. He's not wrong about that, but not for the reason he thinks. Not only did this highly conflicted, biased judge, Juan Merchant, prevent me from presenting the fact that I did not take a tax deduction on the legal expense, which was marked correctly as a legal expense, the judge also did not allow my lawyers to get tax records from the former attorney whose name I am not allowed to mention due to the unconstitutional gag order imposed upon me, election interference witch hunt. The jury instructions given by highly conflicted judge Juan Merchant were unfair, misleading, inaccurate, and unconstitutional. They were also very confused just what the judge wanted because there was no crime. Mm, well, you were convicted on all 34 counts, so it seems like they weren't very confused. It seems like they were pretty clear. Now, the Washington Post brought up whether or not this will impact the election, and nobody really knows for sure, but at least up until this point, it hasn't been affecting the election. The coverage of this hasn't really moved the needle, as explained by CNN's Harry Enten. Think Trump did something illegal in the New York hush money case. I've been interested in whether or not these numbers would change at all during the course of this trial. Simply put, John, they have not. Pre-opening statements, think Trump did something illegal, 46%. After the direct examination of Michael Cohn by the prosecution, look at where we are now, 46%. The percentage of Americans who think uh, that the charges are very serious, in fact, dropped from 40% to a little bit more than 35% during the course of this trial. So yes, perhaps things might have changed with those 12 jurors, but when it comes to the larger American public, there has been no change, at least so far, John. Any possible reasons why? Yeah, I think the question is what's exactly cooking here? Why hasn't there been much of a change? Well, folks like you and me, real news junkies, might be paying really close attention to what's going on. The fact is most Americans don't really care that much. So closely following news about economy inflation, that's number one at 65 percent. Look at immigration, 52 percent. Election legitimacy, 49 percent. Abortion, 47 percent. All the way down on this list of issues tested by the Ipsos Knowledge Panel is Trump's court cases at 42 percent, significantly less than economy inflation. The fact is, John, when we're looking at these numbers, what we see is Americans' minds aren't changing. And a big reason why Americans' minds aren't changing is at this particular point, John, they are tuned out of the conversation. You say folks like you and me. I'm not sure there are very many folks exactly no, like you, Harry, no. but I take your point on that. No. In, ter in terms of the general election matchup right now, how do things look there? Yeah, just, you know, quickly here, John, I'll just point out the Biden versus Trump margin, perhaps not a big surprise. Donald Trump had a slight lead 
before the trial began. Now he continues to have a slight lead. Look, it's still very much a winnable race for Joe Biden. But at this particular point, that Trump train that's been moving faster than it's ever moved before in a general election doesn't show any signs of slowing down despite the criminal indictments against him, despite the fact that this case in New York is now going to the jury, John. So the question now is, does this change since there's a conviction? And that's an open question. I would argue that if it does move the needle, I don't necessarily expect it to move it that much. Certainly Trump supporters don't care. They think that he's being targeted unfairly. So nothing that happens to him legally is going to sway them. The question is, are there enough fence-sitting moderates that think, mm, do I want to vote for somebody who is a convicted president? Uh, and I think the answer to that is probably obvious. Yeah, they don't really care. If Trump says, I will, you know, stop immigration and cut taxes for the rich, but maybe you'll benefit from that one day, uh, they're going to vote for him. So I, I don't necessarily anticipate this moving the needle, uh, electorally speaking, but of course we'll have to wait and see. Nobody knows. The ratings for CNN, at least, with regard to their coverage of this trial, haven't been very good. So maybe Americans aren't paying attention or haven't been paying attention. Perhaps this will change that. We'll have to wait and see. But for the most part, this is history right now. Trump has been convicted. So there you have it. I'm assuming that we'll talk about this more on the leftist mafia tonight. But this is pretty big news. The humanist report is fake news. Mike only cares about crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad, very sad. I'm unsubscribing.